Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Kathleen. Uh, today I'm going to just work on making a journal. This journal is going to be my favorite things. I kind of got inspired by Roxy Creations with that beautiful journal she just made. However, um, I don't have all antiques or vintage, so I'm going to use what I have. I'm going to use my favorite things, things I've been hoarding, things I've been stashing away. I think what's the point of doing that? If I make myself one journal or I could put everything two thumbs up for that because then I can enjoy it all the time. And so can other people when it, you know, if I put on the coffee table or show them. So I spent about two hours picking the most beautiful things that I think I owned that would make a beautiful journal. I want to make it vintagey, like kind of turn of the century. Um, and that's what I picked. That's the colors are all sort of similar palette. I do want to incorporate some color, however, not just um, all this neutral tone. So I did pick some trim that looks like this. Isn't that pretty? What a great combination, right? Um, some's too bright, I discovered, like this. <laughs> I'm going to try tea dyeing some of that and see how that works. Um, so I did pick these beautiful doilies that you see here. And I'm just going to go through them pretty quick. Look at that. I think this one's going to be my cover. I love that so much. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? And this is just so soft and pretty. I want to incorporate that pinky tone as well because that's probably my favorite color. Um, this is an old hanky. I actually have several other old hankies I need to find. I also try to pick out some fabric that I could use as well, not just lace. Um, I thought that was pretty neat. This one is an iffy. It's hard. It's kind of um, can get caught on things. I think it's because they use something for that gold fleck i think more than likely this is going to be a no but i'm not sure so i'm going to leave it in my pile um, this is beautiful as well and then this is going to be uh see look how pretty that is right i'm not sure how to use that but i liked it so i put it in my pile this is going to be some of the vintage trim some not vintage mm -hmm. uh so I have all these here. So I try to pick small, big, things that would be on the edge of a page, things that could be um, um, a tuck spot. But I want it, look how beautiful that is. So soft. But I want it to be beautiful. As many vintages of it that I had. I pictured this one. I don't know for a tuck spot maybe. And look at how pretty this is. I hope it's not glaring, you guys, but that's beautiful. I gotta use that. This is spectacular. See, it's sheer, but look at that. Pretty as that. This is beautiful as well. I have more of this, but I just wanted to cut a piece to like work with this, not big rolls of things. This is really sweet. You can tell this one's vintage. It's really pretty. Another beautiful piece. I thought this dolly I liked the pop of color, so I might incorporate that. Um, I think a little pop of color is nice. These are some really pretty doilies. The soft. Look how pretty that one is. This I think is just scrumptious. <laughs> it just reminds me of, I don't know, netting. Beautiful netting. So I definitely plan to use that. I also have other um, things I'm pulling in. Just, it's a big mess here on my table, guys. I apologize. Um, this white might be too white, um, but I kind of like the idea of having some white with so much um, neutral and til neutral tones, brown tones, tan tones. I also pulled in some appliques. Here's another pretty lace. This was the ribbon I found. I have some ribbon from, I believe her name is Barbara Lee Savvy. Savvy? Um, she sells on Facebook. She has um, an Etsy shop as well. The most beautiful laces that she hand dyes. I thought, wow, isn't that like just such a perfect match for, for that? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I did pull in some color. 
this is probably too pink, but if I have a little bit, it might work. See the difference in pink? But I think varying pink might be okay. Um, let's see. That's just some snippet things. These are some of the, um, oof, I got so much <laughs> lace. Oh yeah, this one here. I was thinking about that being on the front and I wanted to show you a couple of options I'm thinking about. So these are the appliques that I picked. I thought that pink one looked very vintage and beautiful. This is some ribbon, I mean lace, that again has that gold fleck. This one might be a little too white, but I might still want to incorporate that white throughout. This one I thought was pretty. I don't know if it was tea dyed or it's actually vintage. It doesn't matter. I still like it. This pink one, I'm going to be using the flowers. Like, look how pretty that'd be. Just cut, right? So that's what I'll be doing with this one. Just using the flowers and the little, not just, I doubt I'll use just a whole applique like that, but you never know. And then I just got some little small ones. Look how pretty that is, the coloring. And then look how little that is. I'm horrible. I don't know the names of different trims or lace, but I just like it. And then I have little pieces like that I want to incorporate too. Um, so let me show you the journal after I showed you this big pile of lace here. Let me see if I can cover that up so it doesn't look so open. Here, let's do this. How's that? <laughs> Your eye can land on something. So the journal that I saw that I got inspired by was just a flat, like just flat. That was, there's no way I needed to, I need a big, big one because I have a lot of pretty lace and this is something that's going to be important to me. And hopefully I, I want it to last um, until it gets passed on to somebody else. So with this, I decided to use scrapbook paper. I use my two favorite papers which is going to be um, Tilda, which that's Tilda there. And I use, let me show you the pad that I used. This is the pad right here. Happiness is homemade. So I use that. I like the colors. So that's Tilda, that's Tilda. And this is Jane's Memories by Blue Fern Studios. Isn't that pretty? I love that. So with this, um, I did splice the two together with, I have another piece of paper that I used this side on the other side and turn it over guys. Sorry if I'm making it all dizzy. Um, and this side, the tape was a joke. You guys can see that masking tape. It was so vintage, so old. I could barely even get any out. <laughs> However, I did get some on the, this inside, it, it does have two full strips. And then I put another piece over here. I glued it. Um, i not sure what I want to do with these flaps yet. I did trim them down so it wasn't flush up against um, the fold. I kind of thought of a jewelry box when you open it up and there's all this amazing jewelry, but instead of jewelry, it'll be lace and other things, other images. So that I'm making pretty big. It's basically a 12 by 12 and I trimmed off just the bottoms. Um, so and a little bit on the side. Um, so this is going to be the journal that I'm going to use. Let me show you the signatures. So far I only made one signature because I didn't know that I was going to make a bigger journal. So this is a Harper's Bazaar. Um, I cut this out. I want to say magazine, but it feels more like a newspaper. This stuff is very fragile, so I'm going to have to shore it up. There's just no way I'm going to get around that. It has to be shored up. Um, I used old book pages. This is um, a journal, which I'm going to use as tuck spot book page. This is also from Harper's Bazaar. I really liked the, um, the ads in this. This will also, all this old paper is really going to have to be, you know, have a, an anchor to keep it together. I don't care for this that much. So I'm probably going to put another piece of Harper's Bazaar on top of it. This is a um, music note page. I'm not crazy about it, but it's, it's durable. So, and it's a different shade. So I liked it. Another journal, 
tuck spot. This is a book that I'm gonna have to shore up. And then that will go in as a signature. Let me show you. Sorry guys, it's so big, it probably doesn't even show right. So I am going to have to trim it, probably up to here. But I will use all this extra for other projects. And then I will make another set, which I'm, I have similar paper or different paper I can use. So there'll be enough for two. Cause I figure it's going to be pretty fat with all the lace and trim. You figure all that in there. Not all of it, but you know what I mean. So I just wanted to show you, I do have a cover picked already. This fabric here is simply spectacular. I'm hoping you guys can see it. Let me move this a little bit in case it's too bright. I don't want that white shine. Look at that, Isn't that beautiful? It has little specks of blue and pink in it. So pretty. So that is going to be my cover. Move this out of the way. This is gonna be the cover here. So now it's just what I'm thinking about in all honesty is there was a couple of pieces I liked. This, I thought on top of this was beautiful. Seriously, how beautiful is that? Gosh, that's gorgeous. Um, I did think about adding a little, that other little piece. I'm not sure where it went. Let me look for it. There's one other little round oval one that probably one of the first things I showed. I'm not sure where it went. There's too many things here. Too much beauty. <laughs> uh, let's see, did I bury it? Oh, I don't know what I did with it, you guys. There's too much. Okay, so I, it's here somewhere. It's just so little it gets lost. There's another oval piece that I'm thinking of adding to that, but I'm not sure. So you guys, I'm not gonna go any further than this because I'm really hoping you guys will get some stuff together. Make it the stuff that you're hoarding. Make it stuff that you don't normally use because you love it so much. Um, it's, it's so beautiful, all the things that you own. It can be cut off from a shirt. Um, I have a beautiful lace shirt that I'm gonna incorporate. Let's see if I have it here. Because... Okay, look at you guys. I found this lace shirt at a thrift shop. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. Um, of course, it was not my size, otherwise I would wear it. <laughs> but look at all that beauty on there. Look at that. And I love that it's used. I love that it's worn. So I have washed it. I'm gonna trim it up and I can just see that on a page, right? How pretty is that gonna be? So whatever you got, it doesn't have to be fancy schmancy stuff, just things you like. All right, so get your things together. So if you can, um, I'm gonna, next time I um, film, then I'll go ahead and start um, creating the cover for this. And I'm probably by then, I'll know what I wanna do with the insides. So um, get your favorite fabrics, your favorite laces, your favorite trims. Get stuff that you know that you're going to want for you bottom line so that way you um, can enjoy it and not have it hidden away or afraid to use it because you're using it for you and how important is that to um, treat yourself well and give yourself good gifts all right you guys until next time take care of yourselves bye-bye